Hi, today we're going to take a look at installing, configuring, and using the Gibbscam plugin for ZW3D. The first step is to make sure ZW3D is not running. Next, locate the ZW3D Gibbscam installer, right click, and select Run as Administrator. Depending on the language version you've installed, you may see more than one choice. I only have the English version, so I just need to enter one, hit the return key, then any key to continue. That completes the installation. Now let's start ZW3D and open a solid model. I now have a new ribbon tab labeled Gibbscam. Select the tab, then click on File Setting. This is where we can change the transfer format. As Gibbscam is a parasolid based program, Let's leave the default format as Parasolid. Now I simply need to click the Gibbscam icon and the transfer begins. Gibbscam will automatically launch, then click OK to complete the transfer of your solid model. To transfer 2D geometry, we'll do that from the sketch environment in ZW3D. First, let's insert a sketch on the model that references the face edges. I'll just select the sketch face and the model edges are automatically projected. Then, using the reference command, let's select a few more edges to project. Using the reference command, I could also project points, center lines, or complete faces to select all model edges at once. Now, from the Gibbscam ribbon tab, click the Gibbscam icon. This automatically launches Gibbscam with the 2D geometry ready for import. Just click OK, then process, and the connected 2D geometry is loaded onto its own workgroup. That's all there is to installing, configuring, and using the Gibbscam plugin for ZW3D. Thank you for watching.